Assalamu alaikum. Uh, then, uh, what I have to present uh, there is a program that I created a long time ago. Uh, it's uh, a small 3D renderer. Exactly, it's a 3D real time renderer. Uh, it's used an algorithm called Perspective Projection Algorithm, also known as the Rasterizer Algorithm. Okay, uh, now let's uh, test the renderer and see how it works. Uh, in the middle we have the cube. Actually, this cube is the only 3D in the scene. The other staff are here just to make the scene uh, looks uh, fancier. Uh, the 3D renderer implements the major uh, 3D functions like uh, translation, rotation, uh, scaling, texturing. They are all implemented and we can test them. Uh, we can see the different textures upon the cube surfaces. There are different kinds of textures. Uh, we can test the translation using the keyboard. Uh, we can translate upon the x-axis or upon the y-axis or upon the z-axis. The same for the rotation. We can rotate upon the x-axis or upon the y-axis or upon the z-axis. The scaling we have two. We can uh, scale up or scale down. On the keyboard uh, they are called zoom out and zoom in. I use the C language, a small C language card for the, uh, this renderer. Uh, I also uh, use the a library called SDL. I use this library uh, practically for uh, loading images, uh, manipulating images, uh, loading sounds and using sounds using the keyboard uh, and uh, other fancy stuff that you can see. But uh, in the other hand, for the 3D, I only use it one elementary function from the uh, from SDL. I use it the function for drawing one colored pixel. From there, I built from the scratch the 3D render. Uh, that means all the functionality that we have discussed earlier, like translation, rotation, scaling, and texturing. Uh, all are uh, they are all uh, being created from the scratch. Uh, this kind of uh, renderer is called software renderer because it's only using the CPU capability. Uh, it's not using any uh, GPU or hardware capability. The program and the source code are on the links below. And thank you.